Hello, everybody. Today, oh, yeah, by the way, this is Josh Barry with Josh Barry Photography. Um, I get a lot of questions about my albums. Uh, of course, I have no problem meeting with any of my clients to show them the albums in person. However, I just thought I would make this video uh, going over one of my albums right now. I'll probably have a, another video in the future regarding the other album that I, I use um, um, as well, but I figured we'll start from the top down since this is the most popular album that I use. Um, the album that I use is um, the most, that is the most popular, is the Panoramic Storyboard album. That's an album that is from a company out of Maryland called PictoBooks. You can search them online at pictobooks.com, uh, very high-end albums, and that is why I use them. Um, so here we go. Here is the Panoramic Storyboard album. This album can be found on um, uh, in my essential, or excuse me, in my uh, in any of my enhanced collections from my bar mitzvahs, and it is the only album that I use for weddings as well. Um, again, bar mitzvahs. I have another album that I use, which is a uh, yearbook style album. However, um, this one here is probably used by 80, 80 to ninety percent of my clients. So. When I get my album from PictoBooks, it uh, comes very nicely wrapped, um, packaged extremely well. However, I've undone all of the packaging so I can show you the contents of the album. However, when it comes to me, it is perfectly protected. It's actually shrink-wrapped and sealed. Bubble wrap is everywhere. Honestly, the box is the size of a, of a moving van for just this little album, but they, they make sure that it's protected when it gets to me. <clears throat> so, okay, so they all come in this case here, um, and this case here, um, I have all, um, it's an option for, um, for my albums, but I always do it is a um, etching that gets in the cover. Now, this is Jake Weiss, um, this is his album, and this isn't actually drawn onto the cover, this is actually etched in, so it's, and again, it's not an embossed, it's not raised above, it's actually somehow carved into the cover, which is amazing. Okay, and this is a nice, nice thick, sturdy case. <clears throat> Alright, so, um, here we go, open this up. Now, the, the cover itself, again, the whole, the whole box that the album comes in, of course, there's a little lint there, but that's okay. But there's my logo, and that's actually felt. As you can see, um, that uh, that protects the entire album it's through the whole case. This again, this is Jake's album. This here is the cameo. Let me go ahead and remove this. I'm going to set this set this aside and remove the uh, remove the album here. Push that aside. This here again. This is the case. You can see it's lined with felt. Sits perfectly and beautifully on any coffee table and it protects it. Now this here is Jake's album. This is a 10 by 10 album. Uh, I refer to these as my panoramic storyboard album. Um, these are also known as flush mount albums uh, throughout the industry um, as far as uh, the industry terminology. However, I refer to them as a storyboard album. Uh, this here is a photograph of Jake that um, and of course, I, I, I do all the design work for all of my albums. Picto Books themselves put them together for me. They print them and bind them for me, and they turn out beautifully. Um, this is called the Cameo. This is actually inset into the album. It's not a cut out where you can kind of see the page underneath. It's actually inset into the cover, and you can't really see, but there is this, see that mirror so you can kind of see that's that's the reflection from my monitor. There is uh, some coating on here that is patented by my album company. This is unique to them. Literally, it's a it's uh, it's some sort of clear epoxy. I'm not exactly sure what it is because when I asked them when I toured their facility, they said it was uh, patented. But literally, you could take your nail and put a mark into this and you could literally rub it out. I I, I don't know or understand how or why. It's hard, but it's malleable. But it makes this album completely scratch, I don't want to say scratch proof, but definitely very scratch resistant. I've never had an album complaint, that's why I use them. Um, just if you want to look at the binding, the binding itself is top notch. I mean, I'm not a book, I'm not a book professional, but 
It doesn't take a genius to see that that is a very strong bind there. That is almost like an encyclopedia bind. I mean, these books are very solid, very sturdy. That's why I use them. Um, but yeah, this is a full page cameo here. This is a full leather album. These albums come in 15 different, I think. I could be off by one or two, but 15 different uh, leather colors. Again, uh, just superior quality. Now, all these designs throughout the entire album are designed by me. I use, <clears throat> I use. Uh, let's see here, pull this up. For my album designs, I, of course, I design everything in Photoshop, and then I use also a little bit of uh, Photo Fusion for my albums. This is a, a, a design, this is a spread for somebody else's album, but you can see I, I do all the blending on my uh, my computers here. Now when you first open up the album, first thing you're going to see, again this just shows not only the quality of their craftsmanship, but just how much they care about their products. You get a nice little card about how to care for your album, and you can get to read that. It's a little out of focus, but they have a care card. And I'm sure on there it says something about um, not take going swimming with your book, or not, but I wouldn't recommend that. Here is the first page here of Jake's album. Now this album here, um, uh, as with most albums that I, I do, are 36 pages. Um, also, uh, I refer to them as spreads, so actually 18 spreads. One spread here, as you can see, this is a whole spread which consists of two pages, page one and page two. But what makes this album company um, so unique um, and which impresses me the most, if you look closely, you can see that there is no gap between this page and this page. That's what enables me to design full page panoramic spreads. And the only thing that you get, and you can barely see it, is right there is a seam that goes the whole way up, which is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. There's no gap. There's no gutter. There's no space between this page and this page. So, um, and what's also amazing is that this book lays completely flat. You can flip literally right to the middle, and it's still, you can see, it lays flat. And there's no gap between this page and that page there, which enables very... Um, which uh, creates a workspace for me that I can really do some storytelling throughout the album without having to deal with one file here and one file there. It makes the storytelling aspect of the um, uh, of the album design much easier. So yeah, I design everything in Photoshop and Photo Fusion. If you can see, I'm I'm really not being careful with putting my hands on this album. The reason is the reason is there's a coating that gets put over top of these albums. Now, of course, my hands aren't wet, and I didn't get to, just get done changing the oil on my car. Um, however, there, there's a coating that gets put over these that protects these pages. Again, don't touch them with wet fingers, greasy fingers, whatnot. That's not recommended. However, there is an added level of protection in these pages. Because this is a photographic print. Even though they're very, very thick pages, it's a photographic print mounted to that heavy card stock right there. <clears throat> so again, we're flipping through the album. This is an 18 spread album. This album is the storyboard album found in all of my um, silver, gold, and platinum essentials packages and higher. Um, or excuse me, I'm cor uh, let me correct myself. The silver, gold, and platinum enhance, not the essentials. Um, the Essentials Packages is a yearbook style album, which is in a different video I'll be making. Um, the reason I'm showing you this one, it's the most popular album that I, I use, and uh, just my favorite as far as design work. This is, then here, uh, since we're on this, this is my favorite page of his album, or at least one of them. There's so many. And you can kind of see the, the blending that I use in my designs. You know, blend that image from the background into this image, and then this image across and it's seamless. You cannot tell where one image ends and the other one begins. That's one of my favorite aspects of design and storytelling. And again, that's, that uh, Picto Books gives me that ability because again, I can, 
I send pick the books this file and it's all one page going across. It's one file. I don't have to have file one and file two, page one, page two. This is all uh, one spread and it sits on my desktop as as, as, it, as exampled again from right here. You can see. And you can see that blue line. That's just a guide for me. And you can see how I've blended one, two, three, four, and then there's a fifth image that overlays everything. You can see his you can see his talus in there. Again, I just want to remind everybody this is also the same type of album uh, that I use for my weddings as well. Thought this was also a very nice page. First thing you'll notice when you open one of these albums is that new car smell. The leather and I don't know. I guess I like I'm I'm the type of guy that likes gas the gasoline smell at the pump. So all the chemicals and the the new leather and all the finishing touches that they put on these albums when they print them. It's really nice. The videos look really, really bright, I'm sure, but uh, that's just so you can see really clearly. <clears throat> Jake was uh, also a piano player, so we did a page for him. If you, uh, and if you want, I have other album design examples on my website at uh, joshbarry.com under the Bar Mitzvah Gallery, and also there's a, a wedding section on there as well. Um, PictoBooks.com is the album company that I use. Um, there They have several different kinds of albums as well, but this is my favorite type of album that I use from them. They're signature series albums, which is a true leather, true leather album. And I always, at my, uh, at my events, my um, Bar Mitzvahs and weddings, I like to bring a white backdrop. And I do uh, different kind of portraits of, um, of all the guests here. This is one of the white backdrop pages, and we'll get to the end here, and you'll see you will see that um, I, I use that for the guests as well, because I'm not a big fan of table shots. So here's the, here's the last page, and these are all guests at their party. And it makes a nice last page. Instead of having photographs of tables with half-eaten plates of food and centerpieces, um, lettuce hanging out of people's teeth, uh, you know, who, who knows, a, a husband that's missing, who's out dancing. Um, I think this is way, way better. If you look closely, see, um, I'm not sure if this is a friends and family page or a recent client page because I photographed her event, her event, this one, that one, that one, all over the place. Yep. There's, yep, lots of previous clients of mine on this page. Oh, there's the, there's the Turkheimers. Say hi. And then, of course, the last page just a blank page, it's texture, there's a nice textured page here, you can, you can kind of hear it. And then of course there's my logo. And PictoBooks logo, whoops, there it is, PictoBooks. And again, it's uh, 15 leather, just 15 different leather colors to choose from, I believe, I could be off by one or two, but there is the uh, 10 by 10 panoramic storyboard album. Uh, used by Josh Barry Photography. My website is www.joshbarry.com. You can email me at josh at joshbarry.com. Also, you can uh, call me toll-free, regardless of where you're at in the country, 888-517-6374. Specialize in artistic photography regarding portraits of uh, bar mitzvahs and weddings, as well as in-studio photography, maternity, babies, uh, children um, and, and everything else and again everything is all edited by me uh, Picto Books is the company that prints and binds my album all designs by Josh Berry Photography 
Thank you, and I will talk to you guys soon. See ya.